just waiting here at United Park for the arrival of the two teams, the fourth league meeting of these sides in this year's campaign. A win and a draw, plus a loss so far for both Drogheda and Shelburne. Shelburne in the change strip, as you can see tonight. It's a nice, crisp, cool evening here in County Louth. Decent crowd, plenty of shells, supports away to our left, as ever. Always a good travelling following. So, on this perfect pitch, everything is set and ready. And after the exertions of Tuesday night's Cup semi-final replay, Paul Doolan has taken time to review his options and draw the United tonight, start with David Sullivan at full-back. He's among two changes from that Longford game. Gavin Whelan will operate on the right of midfield with Sean McClare pushing into the centre alongside Barry Malloy. John Lester steps down to the bench. That's the big news. Well, Monday night's loss to Derry was just the fourth league defeat in a busy and eventful season so far for Shelburne. Accordingly, Pat Fenlon opts to play leading scorer Jason Byrne on his own up front tonight with Glenn Fitzpatrick starting out on the bench. Wes Houlihan is back in midfield alongside Jim Crawford and Stuart Byrne with Alan Moore prompting just behind Byrne. So the traditional toss of the coin, first of all. Owen Heary on the left-hand side for Shelburne. Our match referee tonight is Paul McKeown from Dublin. His officials, Kieran Delaney and Dave Wogan. So, Drogheda appearing like they have won the decision. Their captain, Danny O'Connor, calling correctly. Hide him. Well in the air by Dave Rogers. It's that's Crawford. Where the, that's where the battle is tonight. In that middle of the park, Crawford and Byrne physically strong. Can Malloy and McClare match them? Not just physically, but creating things. It's going to be interesting. Pressure at the back. Again, good pressure exerted. Whelan back over there, trying to help out for Drogheda United. Trying to assist David Sullivan. And they try to seek out Crawley. Son Bleat not with the most convincing header away. More pressure play with Houlihan involved. Oh, dangerous! What a start! Alan Moore! Only two minutes are gone. Paul Dillon will be really, really disappointed. Just what they didn't want. You can see the crowd, there's a little bit of a strange atmosphere in the ground. But look at Owen Heary, Captain Fantastic. It's a fantastic finish. He got in front of, I think it was Stephen Gray. But it all started from a bad header from Sandleach. Put it in hard and low behind the defence. Conan, he turn inside. O'Brien trying to set it up. Sullivan. Back to O'Brien once again, Myler with a 1-2. Decent approach play. Oh, it's fired in! Not the oh, whistle no. has gone. Sean McLaren had buried it. It's not going to count. They'll be going absolutely bananas. They put it in the back of the net, but the referee's pulled it back. Look at this again, McLaren stepping up, finding the gap. And the referee had blown just before that. Went in beyond Steve Williams. And as Spatol was saying, the Drada fans will be absolutely furious. Well, he hit the post on Longford on Sunday. He needs to stick this back in the net, and then what a game we'll have. Myler standing over it. He's got it! If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. This game turns around. second half, Andy Myler gets his seventh goal of the season, look at this from the free kick, and Williams is beaten, well it's exactly what the game has required, 1-1 at United Park, and looking for a lead goal, pressure on, what a lob, what a goal, magnificently done by Stuart Byrne, that is absolutely fantastic. 
17 minutes into the second half. That's why they're top of the league. Ball came in here. It was a poor head up because it's not away from the goal. It's straight to a Shells player. No communication between Gray and Rogers. Rogers came for it, didn't get it. He's off his line. Streeper had a lot to do. Took his time. Set it up. 2-1. That is superb. Absolutely. Alan Moore over his head, inside towards Jason Byrne, Moore coming in, bouncing around the place, Houlihan with the shot, 3-1, Wes Houlihan, 22 minutes, five minutes after Stuart Byrne, put them 2-1 up, that should be that. You have to hand it to the Shelbourne team, they come, they get the job done, Sandvik's dived in there, but I'll tell you what, Wesley Houlihan's picked his spot, bang, 3-1. Magnificent shot by Wesley Hulham. Lovely turn, good drive. And they brought a keeper. Big half an hour down the road from here. Oh, yeah! Charles with the free kick. Hulham ready to take it. I think Paul Doom will make a few changes now. He's got attacking options on. Riley, left sided player. Rooney up front, Leicester in the middle of the park. Oh, there's another! Stuart, Jason Byrne! Oh dear, it's falling apart for Drada. A minute after the Wes Hulahan score from the free kick, it's Jason Byrne this time. Some dreadful defending, however. Watch, unmarked into the corner, his 22nd. Crawford. Here's Cahill. Aware that Fitzpatrick was offside, carries it forward himself. Good run, Sandvliet. Coley, chance to stand up, plant this one over. It's five. Ken Fitzpatrick, only on the field about a minute. Nearly 42 minutes are gone, and it's Drogheda United one. But particularly, it's Shelburne five. The league champions running riot. Five to play. Crawley beautifully picked out Fitzpatrick, and he wasn't renowned up until a few weeks ago for his strength in the air, but now, now he's deadly. He's like Nat Lofthouse in there in the six yard box, but you've got to give great credit to Ollie Cahill as well. You know, Ollie's put some fantastic quality balls in there, and the inability to deal with him in the, in the first phase has set up opportunities in the second phase. Really didn't turn up in the sense that they didn't play in Tolka just what is it five or six nights ago good ball over dealt with well by Rogers Ooh, what a goal that is perhaps the goal of the night magnificent goal superb standing from Rooney what a finish Mark Rooney in injury time hits a walloper to make it 5-2 watch this there was no way Williams could anywhere get next to near it. Look at the dip on this ball. Seven goals in the game. And we have very...